I've had a few questions about my fear seminar, Fuck Yo Fears. And why fear? Why am I doing a, a workshop specifically about fear? And the big thing for me is, so I'm a health coach. I'm a health and wellness coach. I get to work very closely with people who do my one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. And one thing that I've seen related to health and fitness, but not necessarily, it overlaps, right? Is that in people's lives, it is very, very common to be paralyzed by fear, like paralyzed by fear. And the thing with fear is that what people tend to want to do to avoid this feeling of fear is to put themselves in a position where they're not exposed to fearful situations. You know, if someone's socially anxious, they'll avoid going to outings or avoid talking to people. You know, if someone's scared of uh, love, for example, they will avoid the being put in a position where they're vulnerable or open to being hurt or in a position to make connection with someone, you know? And millions of other examples relating on different types of fear. And the thing with this though is what happens when you isolate yourself from fearful situations? What happens when you uh, prevent yourself, you, you prevent exposure to these fearful situations is that fear doesn't go away. In fact, what happens is you tend to become even more fearful. And the issue with that is that the, the problem never gets solved. The problem never gets solved. But, <coughs> mm, bless me. <laughs> um, the in interesting thing and the ironic twist to this, I need to sneeze again right now, I feel it. The ironic, it always comes in twos. The ironic twist to this is when it comes to lessening your fear in these situations because someone, who, someone who's scared of being hurt still wants to be loved, right? But if you don't expose yourself to that fear of being hurt, you will never be loved. You will never feel that love. Same with people who experience, you know, social anxiety. They, they still want to talk to people and they still want to have friends and they still want to meet people. But if they don't expose themselves to that fear of talking to people and putting themselves out there, they won't be able to meet people. This just make, this creates more unhappiness. This creates more sadness. And this creates an unsatisfying life. So the ironic twist to overcoming fear is to actually expose yourself in small doses, if need be, baby steps, expose yourself to those fears. You need to view fear in a certain way, knowing that by exposing yourself to these fears, you are growing and you're expanding. That's for one, get a fear positive mindset. Number two is you have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone. You have to be willing to notice the fear, name the fear, and push through the fear, knowing that by doing so, you are growing. You are getting one step closer to what you really want deep down, which is whatever that fear is preventing you from getting. Because fear is a compass for growth. If you feel fear around a particular area or areas of your life, that's a sign that 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 area of your life needs to be delved into. For me, I held a lot of fear about being loved by other people, being vulnerable around other people, being seen as weak around other people. And for me, for a very long time, that actually prevented real connection, that actually prevented real loving relationships, which is what I actually craved deep down. And ironically, to try to avoid getting hurt, I also avoided deep connection. So, what I challenge you to do today is I challenge you just to take a baby step. When you feel some fear, if you want to go and talk to someone, but you feel that fear, if you want to go and ask someone out, but you feel that fear, if you want to go to a social event or if you want to speak to someone that may be a little bit confrontational in your workplace, I want you to recognize that fear. Know that by doing so, you are, by embracing it, you are growing. 
and take steps to face that fear. Because the ironic thing with this as well is your worst case scenario, very unlikely to happen. Very unlikely to happen. You picture an extreme worst case scenario. For example, you go and ask someone out that you like and they'll say, fuck off, no, I don't like you. Whereas, what's likely to happen? They'll say yes, or they'll politely decline. So, guys, I want you to take from this video the fact that fear is a compass for growth. Fear is not often the worst case scenario is nowhere near as bad as you think. And by embracing fear, you will grow. You will become less fearful. Peace. Guys, if you're liking my videos so far, I highly suggest you look up my YouTube channel. That's where I put all of my videos. Sometimes my videos get lost on Facebook. So if you're loving what I'm putting down, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, search for Aaron Sager on YouTube, S-A-G-E-R, and subscribe. And you can see, I've been doing this for fucking two or three years now, so I've got a shit ton of videos up there. So have a look if you're interested, and if not, fuck you. <laughs>